The woman was made after man to be his companion and complement and to help him as he leads in the task that God had given them both. He created man to lead. He created the wife to be his helper. Now, how does he lead? He leads as Christ leads. He leads by going forward and taking all the abuse. He leads by cutting the way through the jungle. He leads by taking responsibility. It means he works harder. This is no earthly king. It means he works harder than his wife. It means if he comes home from a bad day of work and the house is messed up and his wife is sick and the dishes are dirty, he cleans the house, does the dishes, puts the kids to bed. I tell men, and I live this myself. I told my wife years ago, and I heard it from someone else and it's been very helpful. I said, when I'm out of the house, the children are yours. When I come home, they're mine. They're my responsibility. My wife may be a woman who wants to be a homemaker, and she is, that she chooses not even to do much in the ministry because she's still raising children, and that's what she wants to do. But if I come home and things aren't done because she's had a bad day or she's tired or something went wrong, guess who picks up the slack? You don't go sit in your chair. You go home and you labor. And you go, well, when do I get to rest? When you die, that's when you get to rest. When you die, write it down. We're not kings. We're servants. And what the world doesn't understand is the one with the most authority has to serve the most. You see, one of the reasons why people do not like this type of teaching about man leading his home is because they think that what we're talking about is a worldly, carnal leadership instead of a leadership like Christ who took the lowest position and washed the disciples' feet. That's what it means. Our authority is given to us to serve. 